Welcome back to MK Sports Cars and Kit Car Direct, guys. Um, workshop walk time again, another week flown by. We've got the DAX in. We said the other week we'd be doing a roll bar on this. This normally has a like asymmetric stainless steel roll bar on here and the customer Ada, um, his head was basically sitting above the parapet on the track day, which is a definite no-no. So he sent the car into us and we've put a new on uh, new roll bar with some side impact bars acting as like a stay on here. Uh, it's bolted on and welded into the chassis and it's fully welded and fabric on here. So I think it's 48.9 mil CDS that we put on the back here as well with a well, the head support here as well. So that'll be obviously, he's wanting to get out on track. That should help him no end and, and feel probably a bit more comfortable, especially with a little bit of side impact protection as well. I'm sure the cameraman can pan around and see what we've done. Um, Joseph's helped me today, thanks very much. So yeah, and we'll probably post up a picture of what he looked like before, but it was a very, very low asymmetric bar. Only came to about, I think this height here and his head was probably somewhere around 100 mil above the uh, roll bar, which most track day events, um, especially from your passenger point of view, wouldn't have any kind of protection at all. So this hopefully would help him, give him a little bit more protection as well. Um, we're just literally going to load this up and send it back to him now. If you like what you see and you're into your kit cars, guys, then um, why not subscribe to our channel? Press subscribe, click on the bell icon, press all, and it'll send you notifications each week. Right, we're over here at the... Uh RX 5160, as we call it, the Omex car. Um, still waiting for registration, which is most frustrating on this one. Seems to be taking longer than normal. But then mind, it'll come through. The sun is out, and then Richard uh, will be uh, shooting along. But a couple of little jobs that we was left to do on this, and the, the only other thing that was left was fitting the wipers, which we said to you the other week, which we was doing. Um, so the wiper wiper has uh, all been fitted. Um, along with the mounting bracket. Now the good thing about this, we may put some shots up, it'll definitely go into the build manual of course, is the bracket will mount off of these two holes uh, here that bolt uh, the wing st the windscreen stauncheon here. Bolts off of that, comes around, this is on the other side by the way, but I'm showing you this side, the motor's on this side, and it'll come around and it bolts the motor to it and then the mechanism goes along. Obviously we've got the squirty here and the washer bottle is tucked down in the, uh, in the front of the footwell there, basically. And then, uh, yeah, these uh, little blades will um, show you. It's obviously a two-speed motor, but there she goes. Nice little wiper system. You do get caught out for the rainy days, as you know. So windscreen, doors, obviously we've got the bikini hood, so full weather pack now. Um, we've done the heater actually as well, but we'll show you a video on that at some point as well, where it sits down in just behind the dashboard in the center tunnel there. Give you a bit of creature comfort. Perfect for Neil who's behind the camera today, helping me out. Thank you, Neil. And we are uh, moving along. And so, yeah, the creature comforts of this car, you'd be able to do miles in it. Wouldn't be a problem. If you get caught out in the rain, you pull out your, your bikini hood and you strap it on. A uh, couple of, well, not even a minute. I reckon it's about a 30 second job to pop of that on. And if you're rolling on the dot, so you get some miles in this car. It's such a good driving car, especially with the Omex on it now. That 160 horsepower. I reckon if you stuck a light and flywheel on, Probably about as peachy as it gets for a road car. Super nice to drive. So yeah, wiper systems in. These are available anyway now. And we're just doing the laser cut brackets. That will pop into the build manual. So that you guys are out there. It's all online, as you know. That will automatically update. And you'll be able to see how we do that on our system as Have well. Have you got anything for overnight? If you park up overnight? Oh, yeah, we do the overnight. We do a full um, full cover, really, that goes over the car. It's like, well, a shower hood. And then we do a full cover that goes right over the bonnet. So stops all the water getting into the ingress areas. And obviously at the back, it will come down as well and cover this because the bikini hood finishes about here. Uh, we've got it over there, actually. I'll just grab that. Okay, yeah, so that's the hood on. Speeded up version, but I reckon that took me uh, probably 25, 30 seconds to get that bad boy. And I've just got two clips that we've got to put in here to hold it in place. So uh, that'll be your full full weather gear and as you say we leave this open it's actually quite nice to come along and get a bit of fresh air in the cabin on the back here not needed most of the rain comes on from this side and moves it along so yeah you got your full full weather pack on the car and I actually think it looks bloody awesome excuse my French but I think that looks great with the screen and all that on there especially with the black and yellow you know hazard awesome right see what else we've got going on 
Right, over here, demo car, RX5 again, but turboed, not like the yellow one, 160 horsepower. So we're gonna be pumping somewhere in the 300. We're gonna call it, I don't know, it'd be the RX5 250 and the RX5 300. 250 with a TDO4 in there. And this has got a super duper GTX 2860 RS turbo we've bolted onto it with a low mounted manifold. That's just gone on. We've got to make the exhaust pipe. We'll be mocking up the pipe work here. All in, that will go in from here and feed up. And we're actually gonna make a little scoop that goes over the front here. Um, so the low mounted manifold is on. We're happy with that and how it is. And now we can start working with the, uh, the pipe work which we've done and linked it all up and the yellow pipe kit. So and again. Standard is TDO4, so it's TDO4 L13T, um, basically Subaru. Um, now we have to be clocked, both of these turbos have to be clocked to uh, sit in there. And generally it's going to sit between sort of 230, you can get 250 if you get the right mapper out there to do it. But you know, let's say generally around about 230 horsepower they kick out and around about 220 foot pound of torque. This bad boy with a GTX 2860 on there, it's 11 blade billet compressor, bare, ball bearing based turbo monster uh pulsar one basically um yeah that's going to deliver quite considerably more so but you've got to forge your engine to do that there's no point faulting that or without doing a forged uh, engine in any way waste of time we had them up here on the day the other day and when you look at the size of the turbos um tdo4 here um you know yeah and uh yeah and then you put in something like a gt35 that's a 35 on there i mean that's that was sucking a bird <laughs> chew it up well maybe that's a robin and that's a pigeon um but one of them it'll take it out and it with that the gt25 uh, 2860 sort of sits in between these two um so this gives you really the tdo foil gives you really nice low down torque spools up really quick don't really get much lag which is with you will get a bit more lag with this type of turbo but what we've done with the 2860 was sort of sat in between and then what we'll do we've made a slightly different back it's got a 0.64 back housing on it to hopefully help that boost spool up a bit quick, quicker and the adjustable cam uh, timing that we can do on this to hopefully again help it spool up quick. I don't want lag, we don't want any lag, we don't want that oh bang there she goes. We want to make sure we've got some uh, linear power and delivery to it. So low mount turbo, we'll make sure it comes out the same hole as this one and, and again we'll then offer that as a kit. Um, we, we will be doing some shrouding around the intercooler here to make sure that the, the cooling uh, is beneficial for that sort of horsepower as well. So we make sure we can get this efficient as possible with the intercooler as well. And again, we said last week, electric water pump, uh, we're sticking that out, mainly for when you come in. Once you come in, you can turn it off, let the water pump cool down the turbo and everything else as well. So don't really need to do that on the TDO4. Can water cool them? We didn't, we never ran ours with water cooling. Uh, no problem, didn't have any issues with it in temperatures and that was all fine. So that's cool, so that's a progress on the turbo and we hopefully we can get some more time into that. It's been a, another mental busy week, but we're progressing obviously the demo cars and building other bits behind it as well. And kits getting them ready to go out as well for customers. Right, we're just gonna look at some alloy wheels actually. Obviously we've been pressing on with the left hand drive car as well. Few little bits and jobs done on that. We're mocking up for the wings. And we're just gonna we've, um, put in for the uh, side repeaters for the IVA, but 15 inch wheel. Literally no, obviously team dynamics have been, was our preferred wheel of choice, but obviously very challenging to get hold of. So we've gone with these new new wheels that were ours. We do emphasize we can get them pounding coat black, but then we've had made, I and mean, we've got about 24 wheels in stock, I think, I mean, something like that, 24 of these. We have now got the big unveiling. We've got the six inch CXRs in emphasize, which look, I'm gonna say, pretty darn pucker. Um, those um, fitment wise, which obviously will fit and we'll, these will be going on to um, the uh, RX5 MC car actually as well. So those fit, they're very tasty, but that's in the four by 100 stud, stud pattern instead of four by 108. So those are gonna be available, we've got them on a shelf. Um, you can run a 205 even on a, a 60, but we're generally we're trying to keep it lightweight. So what we're running is like a 185 60 tire on there, which is perfect for these bike engine cars, keeps the weight down. This is only 442 with the bigger tires and that. So it'd even be less weight because I think there's about two kilos lighter per corner per tire. So we'll get this under the 440 kilos then with, this, with the CXRs on there and the 185s all round. So yeah, so lovely. We know the CXRs, you know the CXRs guys. Super killer wheel. Um, and yeah, we'll be running them on the Mazda, Mazda cars. So four by 100 fitment. Are we the only people to have those? We are.
we are the only ones to have them at the moment. I don't think you can find them anywhere. And I think they're actually just going to be, uh, the deal is that we, we supply these out anyway. Because, you know, we do quite a bit with the Mazda cars and everything else. So if you're wanting your 4 by 100s this is the place to come. Right over here at the Indy Classic S2000 car. Uh, black on black, as we said, it's going on. We've got the new version of the bonnet. This did come with it, uh, a classic hood with the standard bonnet scoop, but with the S2000 that, which is why, like, the S2000 engine and the VVC engine, which is why we've developed the new scoop, that's on here. So they've cracked on this week, the guys, and they've all fitted, bonnet catches are in, etc. And if we pop the, uh, pop the bonnet there and just take it off, nice and light. That's what we like, isn't it? Nice and light. Get a really good shut line. Uh, we've been under here. We'll actually pop the nose cone off because this has been fitted as well it's only temporarily in place but you want to see it's all done we'll pop that off we're just mocking up with that and we've also fitted in the intake system uh, super nice whizzy bracket here been made to support uh, Dave done that for us he uh, whopped that up and uh, super whizzy bracket in there um, and we're just finishing off buttoning up a few bits under under here with some final bits of pipe work and bits and mobs to do um, but that's done, the intake system's done. We've got to put a Jubilee around the end of the filter. That's about it, but we've made sure the intake works really clean, needs to tidy. I'm gonna squeeze by the cameraman as well. Um, so head of tank, which was last week, was in and bits. So a few bits to tidy up. We had a line of, a line of steering column and things like that were we done. Um, we showed you the free wheel last week. Um, seat belts have gone in this week as well. Um, and we're just finishing off um, the boot cover. That's gone on as well. Um, seen that on socials probably would have seen that on socials actually yeah so the vinyl boot cover which is made up for the same materials there and then we've got a powder coated um just got the gate gator and the handbrake gator to finish off with the uh, powder coated surrounds and just started doing all the iva trim and bits and bobs on the car as well and then you've got the wing mirrors to mount uh during the course of this week so um yeah disappointing we've hoped to get the uh, ecu this week um hasn't arrived which is disappointing because it's all ready to start and ready to go so we're just waiting for that to come through uh, couriers what can i say um it's meant to be here by today and we could have shown you it all running but next week next week we'll get it all going and running so yeah boot cover harnesses air filter um steering column gosh well these are our lists <laughs> on here that we put on the whiteboards ready to tick them all off what we've got to do in um, so yeah, doing some caster adjustments as well for the mushroom inserts and bits like that we've been doing. So on the mushroom, the old Sierra, we don't really do this anymore so much, but the old Sierra, you've got a mushroom insert here. It's off center, the hole, and you've got a large bit at the back, small bit at the front. That pushes this back, which is your upright, further back, which gives you more cast. It ends up with about four and a half to five degrees, generally a standard on the Indy Classic. But obviously the new stuff is all, is all billet. We do the bit of Cortina geometry based stuff. So Sierra stuff is what this customer supplied with his parts, which is fine. Still do it. Still ticks the boxes and we still do all of that. But we've moved away with the billet stuff because it's much lighter. And that's what we like. Lightness. And it looks great, of course. But still functions, works, very strong, very durable. Um, I think what it's a killer car though. What does caster do? Caster helps with self-centering, guys. Yeah, so if you're going in, if you get a bit out of shape, or, well, obviously for IVA as well, it's something you will do. They just pull it into the car park and go around a circle, let the steering wheel go, accelerate away, and hopefully the car will come back to centre. And that's what you need caster for. But also, if you was going along the road and you didn't have caster, it'd be like your shopping trolley. Your wheels would be doing that woo, 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 all the way down the road. So you need caster to <laughs> suit. <laughs> He's laughing behind there. You know, a bit of that going on. Yeah, we don't know. Don't, don't want none of that going down the road. So it helps you keep the car in a straight line, pulls it in a straight line, but also... Especially if you like drifting, you're probably chucking a ton more caster in it and help you let the car self-centre better if you're into that. Um, that so it helps with quicker reactions and, and stuff like that. And most modern day cars, I think run something like 10 or 11 degrees of caster, huge amounts of caster, but they've got power steering to help bring that back. Whereas obviously with these, it was just heavy to steering up, you know, nine, 10 degrees is probably not really relevant for these. Um, get really heavy steering, don't really want heavy steering in these. Want nice and light, responsive, so these cars work. So yeah, black on black. I weren't sure at the beginning, but, oh, we've done the trim on the side as well. Just got rid of that on. So we're doing a brushed effect on this. We're gonna finish that off with a nice brushed effect on the side trim here to go in. And then we'd counter sink in that in there on the rivets. That's going in, it's basically that. And the gear knob, oh look, forgot. Brush finish on the gear knob, so we're matching that in with the brush finish on the um, on the gear knob, so it times ties in the theme as well. 
So, but yeah, black on black, got to say, um, as, uh, as it comes together, all the bling bling shiny bits sort of um, make it look um, make it look very, very smart indeed. Um, we've been super happy with how it's turning out. Um, yeah, bonnet scoop just makes it and it sits right under and you can see the probably cameraman said this is the reason we use these and this new scoop where the old scoop would finish up here. You can see now the engine sits perfectly up just in the scoop so you get a nice little peak of the, of the red rocker cover through there. And that's why we've done it. And the VVT on the Mazda also would then sit just in this sec just in this section of the scoop. So it gives you the clearance so you can run the 2.5 Mark 2.5 Mazda as well. So cool. Right, I think we're gonna head over to the other showroom now. See what Neil's been up to. So we're here today with Jack from Complete Kit Car. Say hello, Jack. Hello, Jack. So we're taking some photographs. You'll see uh, we've got some pictures of the Phoenix, the Striker, and uh, the MK as well. So we got those in, and uh, hopefully we should see these in an article in uh, in Complete Kit Car. I'm squinting because it's super duper bright out here, um, but we should hopefully see these in an article pretty soon. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Well, you can see we've got a, uh, this car was actually on our stand in 20, 2018, 2017, 20, I can't remember now, 2018 I think it was, this was on our stand, CBR 1000, uh, Stonely, Stonely Show, that would help wouldn't it, yeah, um, we've taken this car in and bought it off the customer, um, it's a 2018 car, India, latest CBR, it's got a 2016 CBR 1000R on it, rocket ship engine as we know um, it looks a bit sorry state because we're torn it apart we're going for the car detailing it uh, repowder coating some of the bits make it up to what we consider an acceptable standard and this end car will go up for sale as well so it's nice bits we'll give you the spec on it once it's all detailed we don't want to show anybody around it while it's in this state because we've torn all the corners off the roll cage everything off of it there's a few chips and marks in fault you know what's no point just doing that we we'll strip it down repowder coat everything get it all looking fresh um, engine go through um, etc it's all carbon interior on this one carbon prepeg arches I think they were actually the first car to ever have prepeg carbon arches um, branded calipers these are actually got our MK sports cars calipers on it that we used to do we no longer do these because we work with Willwood um, instead now um, that company don't work with anymore um, so yeah nice car it's been wrapped in this electric blue and that will be ready and available I would say two to three weeks minimum sort of time lead scale on this we should uh, hopefully go through it as well and that'll be up so it'd be 2018 car 2016 cbr 1000 rr engine um and, and go lots of carbon. and lots of carbon we've got a few bits to sort out exhaust sciences and bits and make it um uh, just go through the car button it up as always yeah but loads of carbon loads of carbon so that'll be it cool so cars for sale building yourself kits all get available what's kits lead time neil we're stretching where we used to be but about 15 weeks on kits at the moment we've got quite quite a bit going on uh, we are rattling through we're still rattling through with the other projects as well um, but it gives you an idea we are extremely busy that's why the other show when we're trying to get ready as well and kit that out uh, and as you saw earlier Jack's been over and have a sneak peek at what's going on as well so yeah we'll keep you up to date as we do weekly on what's going on and don't forget to subscribe actually complete kit car great magazine gives you lots of information out there on what's going on in the uh, in the industry uh, drops through your door set good, good little read so yeah that's what we've been up to don't forget press that subscribe button like it share it with all your friends and family and we'll catch you next week guys